What do you do if you're a bunch of young, smart feminists in a country with a crazy patriarchal leadership that throw critics in prison or simply kill them? Do you set up a meeting and discuss with the patriarchs? No, you create the change you want to see and you make the world see the reality you've created. If only for 30 seconds so that the new reality goes viral, spreads over the world through YouTube, because you know that once people have seen female bodies where only male bodies are allowed, once they have seen a punk prayer, a truly revolutionary prayer, they know those things can exist. Could that be a prayer? Could that be an expression of belief? Can belief be feminist and revolutionary? Well, yes, and in Russia it has been for quite some time. Pussy Riot were inspired by the holy fool tradition in Russia, the crazy saints, the Dada-like Oberyu movement with its playful yet deadly serious critique of society, the pre-revolutionary suprematists and the constructivists fighting for equality and material change. And all of these art movements were inspired by the Russian icon tradition where art is not representational but performative. Reality happens where a hand meets matter. Hands and matter can change the world because art does not depict reality, art creates reality. Two of the Pussy Riot members were locked up but their image of reality certainly was not and so Slavoj Cicic wrote in a letter to prison that the very existence of Pussy Riot tells thousands that populist cynicism is not the only option. We are not totally disoriented. There is still a common cause worth fighting for.